Hey groupies, welcome back to Form of Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out the debut of a new boy group. This is called Siren by, let me read the Korean title, P1 Harmony. Okay, so it's P1 Harmony. I was wondering how you would pronounce that. So it's just P1 Harmony. Now this is a new boy group from FNC Entertainment. FNC uh, most famously houses groups like CN Blue, Cherry Bullet, SF9, AOA, and this is a new boy group. So it is a it is it is a label that's got a little bit of power behind them. So I do have some level of expectations for this debut. It's got to be good. It's got to at least be good. So we're going to be checking this out now before we get into today's video. Uh, this video is brought to you by, as always, our Patreon. Guys, if you enjoy what we do on this channel, if you guys want to see some bonus content and support us, head on over to our Patreon. If you go to our Patreon, we have live stage variety show, uh, reality show reactions. You know, uh, if you want to see content for P1 Harmony, go to our Patreon and suggest it and we'll check it out. But yeah. Thank you very much for supporting us on Patreon or here on YouTube. You don't have to support us monetarily if you can't. You know, a free way to help us out is to subscribe. Just hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video. Seriously, like I think 80% of the people who watch our uh, videos are not even subscribed. So would greatly appreciate that. Uh, let's just get into this video. This is Siren by P1 Harmony, and this is your form of therapy. Oh, whoops, sorry. I'm not full screened. That was embarrassing. All right. <clears throat> so far, it looks like it's six boys. Yeah, okay, it's a six member boy group. Ooh, I like that hook. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna shut up soon, but I really like how this is directed. This is directed so well. Ooh, no drop. Ooh. Ooh. That kid with the purple hair looks familiar. Oh. 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 oh my goodness Keep coming. 
we have a real problem. This this debut is problematic because that was too good. That was too good. You you might be asking, PD, how can a debut be too good? This, this, it's this, this. Have a debut like this and it's too good. Okay, so I really, really like Siren. I really like Siren. It, in fact, I'm, I'm going to give the song a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give the music video a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give the directing a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give the whole debut a 10 out of 10. There are so many different facets of this that were so well executed. I mean, okay, how do I organize all my thoughts to tackle each one? First of all, just the training alone, they are so confident. Their charisma is insane. The way they are playing it up in uh, for the camera, they were trained so well. They were trained so well. Uh, none of it feels like they, they they don't have that sense of rookie-itis. It's, it's really, really clean. It's really good. It's really confident. Um, I would say probably the one kind of like not as super confident might be the rapper, but that's also sort of like his tone. Um, the rapper has actually a more low key tone. Well, there's two rappers. There was one with sort of like a small nasally voice and then one that was a little bit more aggressive. Now, the guy that had the quieter voice, he actually seemed really familiar to me. If I'm if I'm to be. If I'm to be relating them to anybody, I'm watching YG Treasure Box on Patreon right now, and he looks like one of the kids, one of the contestants slash trainees on YG Treasure Box. And I'm wondering if that is him. Um, okay, so his name is Chong Zub. He looks very familiar. Uh, but nothing about it says he was on YG Treasure Box. I could be completely wrong. Wow. Oh, no. Okay, he was a trainee under YG Entertainment and was chosen to be a contestant of Treasure Box. He was eliminated in episode nine. So that is him. Whoa. He kind of kind of had a glow up because he looked so young in that show. I mean, obviously, makeup and fashion really, really helps, but he looked really, really young. Wow. It's incredible. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, I think we just have to watch this again, and then whenever something pops out at me, I, I got to stop and talk about it. It's just everything about this was so good. Everything about this was so good. My thoughts are completely disorganized. Um, I will say one thing why I really like it. It feels reminiscent of older group K-pops, older K-pop groups, uh, and, and those kind of debut songs. It's The production of this is just a lot more... Balls out, uh, like uh, it's got a it's got a constant rolling rhythm. Uh, it doesn't really have like your typical um, modern K-pop structure, which is like uh, intro, uh, very specific verse, very high pre-chorus, and then the drop, and then second verse, and then it's not structured like that. Um, it's kind of like it kind of blends into each other, but the song's also not stagnant either. So we'll just we'll we'll, we'll get into this. Um, we'll, we'll get into this. Let's just skip ahead. Okay. We're immediately stopping. So something that I really enjoyed about this, the way to, that's one, oh, that's one amazing way to start the video. Just, you've got this close up. You've got the close up coming in right before the beat. And then right on the beat, they cut to that. And then that's another immediate cut right there. So you've got three cuts within half a second. A great way, like, but it's not so jarring that it's 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 giving you a headache. It's so well done. It's like the video is so well directed and it's so well edited too. It's very snappy. It's very punchy. Um, a lot of this music video is just, it's got a lot of, a lot of a punch factor. It's packs a wallop. And they do a lot of they they cut on beat a lot. They cut on beat a lot. That's not to say that's a new or innovative thing, but 
um, they cut on the precise right beats. They they go for they go for like really impactful cuts. And during their cuts too, they do like a bit of a stutter. What did they do here? Whoa, so this is one shot and it looks like it looks like so they zoom this is not a digital zoom they zoomed in person and they they like added like a speed ramp they basically went like this but then they also sped it up in post so he's just going like ah like this oh so well done also, this is such a smart idea. Uh, FNC is not hurting for money by any points, but this is just in general, just like a smart budgetary idea that like everyone has the same solo set here, but the set is so creative. Um, and, it, you know, because it's like this uh, enclosed circle, it works. It works and it feels like a spotlight on each of them. And they uh, change up the lighting uh, for each member so that it, it seems diverse enough. They did a really good job. Ooh, kick the camera right there. Oh, they've got three rappers. Yeah, so this doesn't really have that big of a drop. Like, na 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 The the drop the 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 chorus feels more like a natural progression rather than a big hyped up drop. I really really like that. And 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 it's so vocally driven. The we and we like I love that. It actually feels you know the best era to cite this is like like old school BTS when BTS did like that kind of like edgy gritty stuff like way back in like their debut era days. Reminds me of that a lot. Ooh. Look, look at those cuts right there. See, they they had they had a bunch of emphasis cuts on the we a we like it's just it's the small little things that's giving this a lot of impact. Even let's go back. Even filming the music video like this. So this is actually uh this is actually how K pop music videos were shot. I would say post twenty twenty post twenty ten. Like post twenty ten before twenty fifteen. Uh, I would say stuff like, go look at like previous BAP kind of stuff. This look right here, it's a wide angle lens, but you're close up on them. Look at, look, look at this shot right here. 
if you look at this shot, there's not a lot of space between the guy in the red in the back between between that motorcycle and the wall. They're pretty close to the wall in comparison. And the camera's pretty close to them too, and they're getting pretty close to the camera. It's this kind of like really wide in your face shot, but it's not a fish eye type of shot. And filming the, uh, trying to capture the entire dance like that, you know, uh, like I would say old, like like I said, uh, like BAP, old school K-pop music video sounded like this. I, I, we're shot like this. That's another group this reminds me of, like old BAP stuff. Like it doesn't necessarily sound like BAP, but it's that era. Oh my god, this song is such a throwback. I love it. I mean, let's listen to the first part of that chorus again. This is what I really love about this. And not a lot of K-pop choruses tend to be like this nowadays. It's just all their vocals. Even the even this even the wee -oo wee -oo, the alarm sound, the siren sound, even that is done by their vocals. And this chorus, it barely breathes. It's just vocal after vocal after vocal. It's completely driven by their vocals. Alright, listen to this. It never breathes. One line, like one line strings together into another line, into another line, into another line. They string together perfectly. It's it's it's, it's a song that doesn't really let up. I feel like uh, a lot of choruses nowadays, you know, the wee wee part might have even been done by like an instrument. It might have been like a sax or something like that. But they were, there was like, it's not instrumental driven. It's there and it's a really good one. But at, at the forefront of this, is actually more so their vocals. And their vocals are very heavy. They've got a nice low tone with a lot of gravitas. So, you know, you've got you've got all the makings of PD's PD's favorite song. Um I really enjoyed this. Siren by P1 Harmony is man, it was one of the best debuts I've seen this year. You know, this kind of gives me the same vibes that um, Sorry Mama by Doc B gave me earlier this year. That was also sort of like a retro uh, early 2010s type of K-pop vibe. I'm seeing this trend a little bit, a little bit more in K-pop recently, and I'm all about it because I really like this sound. And so that's why I'm a little worried. Are you going to make me invest in this group and then they're not going to do a sound like this again? I really hope so, you know, as we do with uh, debut groups, whether they had a good debut or a bad debut, whether they had an average debut or a stellar debut, we're going to we, we got to wait for the first comeback and the second comeback to see, you know, to properly gauge the groups kind of like um, like how we like them. So right now impressive debut 10 out of 10 debut i personally really love it and the question is did you love it let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about siren by p1 harmony would love to know what your thoughts on the debut and thank you very much for watching this video again if you want to support us you can visit our patreon however supporting us monetarily is completely optional if you want to why not go ahead and hit subscribe be notified and check out all our other videos leave a comment hit that like button when you hit that like button it helps us out with the youtube search algorithm and go ahead and check out all our other videos over here and i'll see you guys next time bye